Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. And I'm going to be ranking their videos into five different categories, which are killer, really good, good, um, uh, watchable, and uh, terrible. And uh, with that, I know there's going to be some people that have difference of opinions with these rankings and everything. But that's the great thing about movies is we all can have an opinion. We all can uh, share our thoughts and uh, what our likes and dislikes are and, and why we feel this way. And, uh, and that's what makes this fun. And this is supposed to be fun. So just remember, this is my ranking. It's not yours. And... You know, just be respectful of that and have fun with it. So let's get right into this. Starting with the original film, it's killer. This is the best film in the franchise. Uh, most people would agree with that. Uh, some of your younger audience um, who didn't grow up with the original uh, would probably say 2003's. Uh, is the best of the franchise. And I really can't argue with them. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, remakes, reboots are not all that great. Uh, I will say, though, that um, for those who think 2003's is the best, you know, more power to you. But I, I definitely disagree with that. Uh, I love the the OG now. I will say, though, that the 2003 film um, will be um, probably in the same tier as the OG, but I still put the OG ahead of uh, the 2003 film. But before we get to that one, of course, the original goes into Killer. Part 2... Uh, was a big disappointment to me. Uh, I, I couldn't stand the movie. I, I it, it goes into the terrible category. It is a waste of a good cast, and it. it, it I know they were looking for probably a little comedy in there as well, but I didn't find no humor in the movie, and I, I just didn't like this sequel. I. I I thought it was really bad. And, uh, yeah, so it belongs in the terrible category. I know some people out there that really enjoy this one. For me, personally, it's a bad film. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Uh, that one is good. It, it's... I had a tough time. I was, was going to place it in watchable, but I actually kind of enjoy this one. Uh, like I guess, again, I grew up with these uh, older the older movies and stuff, and uh, this one I found to be te a lot better than part two. And uh, yeah, this it got back to the gore and uh, what made Leatherface uh, so good in the original film. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's good. Uh, and that's it. Uh, why don't we go ahead and address uh, Leatherface from 2017. I have that in the good category as well. Um, a, a short film. Uh, definitely could have been a little bit longer than the running time. The kills were really good. I did enjoy that. And the story was decent. Uh, but there is room for improvement for that one. But still overall, a good film to watch. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the uh, watchable film I have. and uh, That is The Next Generation. Uh, I remember only seeing this movie one time. And it was very forgettable. It's definitely not as bad as uh, one of the films I've already talked about and what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, 
but it could have been in the terrible category. But I like some of the cast, and for me, that put it up one more tier, uh, which isn't saying much because it's still not that great of a movie. But regardless, uh, uh, it has its moments, and that's all I have to say. And finishing out, we'll go ahead and get through the terrible category before I move on to the rest of the killer. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, which I believe came out in 2013, I believe. I only watched this movie once. Uh, I rented it uh, on demand. And this was a god-awful film. The cast was terrible. The story sucked. Uh, it, it just it didn't feel like uh, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film to me. But the, it does have its audience, I guess. But for me personally, no, I pass. <laughs> That's a big pass for me. So let's get back to the killer category here. I just talked about the 2003 film, how some say it's better than the original. For me, it's not, but it is in the killer category because uh, it's got a great cast. Uh, I love what they did the kills. Are fantastic and I, I like what they did with the story and it's a nice updated version of uh, the film and uh, not all remakes and reboots are uh, good but this one was great I love this movie along with the uh, 2006 film the beginning and the most recent film uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre from this year I absolutely loved love uh, those movies. So, let's go do a quick rundown again. In the uh, killer category, we have the original film, uh, 2003's, 2006, and 2022's films uh, are all in the killer category. And really good, uh, there are no films in that category. Uh, in the good category, again, we have Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, and Leatherface 2017. In the watchable category, again, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Next Generation. And finally, in the terrible category, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and the 3D. So there you have it. That is my thoughts and opinions on all the films in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise as of uh, this year. I'm um, assuming we're probably going to get some more, which is great. I love the franchise. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and uh, uh, overall, it's, it's I would say it's, pro it's definitely my top ten. Uh, I maybe have it at number five behind uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. But uh, in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions. Where would you rank these movies? And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, hit that like button. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for many more videos, and check you later.